Father, we never we are grateful to you this morning. For we thank you so much, Lord, for your love and care. Thank you so much because of who you are. Thank you so much for the name of Jesus Christ. So it is very strong and powerful. The Bible said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous will make into it and is saved. We have come before you this morning and we are praying and asking as Monday has been dedicated to our home, to our marriages and relationships. For you know that as many relationships that are him, as many mm -hmm. homes, many homes that are not healthy, as many homes that are experiencing you know, God, all kinds of starvation, all kinds of misrepresentation, all kinds of oh Lord Jesus, things that are not oh Lord palatable. And Lord, the children are becoming wayward, and the wife is becoming ungodly, and the husband of oh God is becoming another thing entirely. Whatever the state of the home, you will remedy in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This morning, hear us, O God, teach us what to pray about, lead us what to pray about, and lead us on what to pray about. In we also want to pray about let the whole take full charge of everything this morning and let there be rest for the desire because we know you have answered in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We want to begin to give thanks to God for this day, the first day of the week. We must be. To the Lord, this glory to His something very important this morning i i just woke up anyway i just woke up i think two past ten six or so or well i woke up before got there and uh, i needed a lot to lead on what we should discuss I mean, Ephesians chapter 4. In Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Oh, my God. 
Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay. So the scripture is saying, neither give place to the devil. Neither give place to the devil. That's very deep. That's very, very deep. If there is any place where people give room to the devil or give place to the devil, is the home, is marriages. There are many, many marriages in the so-called Christian home where the devil himself had entered. The Bible talks about Judah and Satan entered him. Mm. Satan actually entered, literally entered his mind, influenced his thought, influenced his idea, influenced mm. the and that was why he did what he did. It was not with Koroko eyes. He gave mm. home to who he gave place to the devil, and the devil actually took over. Well, he started with covetousness. And then mm. he a little he didn't know. You know, sometimes you hear a church like ours where someone is disciplined. And then people are saying, oh, why should they discipline him? It's just a little thing. No, it's no matter of little. That thing you call little can expand. If not mm. attack immediately, if not corrected and confronted him, it could be a little exaggeration or lie. Do you know people exaggerate when they come to give testimony in the church just to make it sweet? That's lie. That's pure mm. lie. That's pure mm. lie. If you are not careful, mm. that thing you are giving room to the devil, you are giving room to the end. Before you know, the devil will strike. Devil is not a pity. He doesn't pity anybody. All this one where some people say, Satan, leave me alone. Satan does not have feelings. He does not have feelings. He, in fact, he is lost it forever, and he wants to wound as many families and injure as many families. That's why Satan is not our friend. And we are saying, neither give place to it. Neither give place to it. Neither give place to it. And uh, when you look at what happened in the in Chronicle 21, where we told and Satan stood up against Israel and mm. provoked David mm. to number him. Now, mm. what happened was that? Satan wasn't happy with the dealings of God upon the Israelite. How could God be calling the Israelite his firstborn? Till now, the devil is not happy with the Israelite. Mm. You, 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 are you following up what is happening now? In the, mm -hmm. the, the you, you're following up on the prime minister talking to the people in UN uh, recently, and it was like, if you come for us, we will come for you. We will we, we not reach. And the man will speak like I've never seen what kind of a lead. This is what they call leaders. You are not, not a, even though they don't know God, God is still backing them up with all the different terrible, terrible nations around them. And they are in the midst of those nations. And God is still protecting them. But my point is if a human, a human being who does not even know God as such, is not allowing the enemy to penetrate his territory. And the prime minister is saying, even some of our people you are holding hostages and all of that, we will fetch all of them out of you. Can believer not talk like that? As many of our people that have been slain and that have been fetched, that have been caught, that have been adopted, that have been arrested by the devil, can we not use prayer to free them? Can we not use prayer to rescue them? Neither place to the devil. Do you know? 
current economy can make us to give this to the devil. Mm. The relationship of husband and wife in the bedroom can make us to give this to the devil. The way the mm. wives wait for money can make us to give place to the devil. The responses of husband this day to their wives when they demand for money can make place to the devil. And so we are being deliberate this morning. And I will be looking at it from every angle. What can make us to give place to the devil? And how can we ask God for help? How can we cry to God for help? We plead before God for help. I want to go before God this morning. I want to ask the Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus, the grace and the power never to give place to the devil. May the Lord bestow upon you and I. May the Lord Mighty God, everlasting Father, God, immortal God, everlasting God, I look unto you this day. Your word says, give place to the devil. Oh Lord, everlasting God, help me. Help me, help my family, my wife, my children, oh God, and even all the brethren on this platform, oh God. And all our ask you say that God you will help every one of us, oh God. We will devil. not give place to the devil in our heart. We will not give place to the devil in our soul. We will not give place to the devil in our spirit man. We will not give place to the devil in our homes. We will not give place to the devil in our businesses. We will not give place to the devil in our homes in any area of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to pray. I want to ask the Lord, pastors, we can't sell people here and there. We can't sell men and women. We can't sell people here. We want to pray. We will not be caught with any scandalous acts. We will not be scandalous behavior. Lord, oh, God, help us, oh God. Look at something. Something broke it on the fell into the hand into the hands of Delilah, on the knees of Delilah. Dear in Lord, the presence of God, in Lord, the grace of God, in Lord, the power of God, in Lord, the Lord, oh God, he lost everything, all the privileges given. To him, he lost everything. Oh God, Almighty God, help us, oh God, that we shall not be caught with any kind of scandalous attitude or uh, or any kind of scandals. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God, the grace to see free, the grace to see free. Oh Father, give unto us in Jesus' name. Amen. A lot of us have been caught in the web of this issue of sexual immorality. I am telling one of my guests, one of my mentors, oh, of blessed memory. I don't want to mention a one of the greatest apologists, apologists, rather. Whoever lived on earth, it was when he has left this world, a report came of the scandalous behavior. Jesus, I, mm. I, I must, I, this is a man that you can tell. This man can confront any professor in the world. This man can minister to mm. any man, kings or professor, any world. We, mm. we know about him. We know about him. Those of us, you know, in the campus, they I listen to him over and over. I'm talking of rabbits, mm. Ravi Zacharias. I'm talking of Ravi Zacharias. You must have heard about him. And it mm. was when he world, and then that report will almost shatter you as his mentee. As what? How did it happen? How the devil is not sleeping, but then the devil mm. well. Mm. See, the devil is a fool. That's not true. You are not even correct. The devil is not a fool. You can call the devil anything, but it's not stupid. It's not fool. It's not stupid, not fool. It, the devil can be so patient with a man, so called man of God, and wait until it's at its guide moment and strike. Many years ago, I was, uh, my wife, my mommy was still alive then, and I, I, I went to see my mom. And I wasn't living with her, but I went to see her. 
And then there was a young girl in the house, a young, beautiful young girl, just a young, small girl in the house. And then this young girl, my, my mom began to put some things to me in the, and then in Yoruba, even though she's not Yoruba anyway. And then, so I understood. Then I started ministering to the girl, the, a young girl. That, oh, the girl was already pregnant as at that time, young JSS2 girl. And then, okay, so I was ministering to then after some time, my mom left the house. So we're just uh, we're just talking and all of that. Then I realized from the questioning between me and the girl, she wanted someone to be by her side, Jesus Christ. And then I I do you know that day? I'm talking of many years ago. Then at the point she wanted to sleep, so she had to oh, yeah, go and sleep in the room and all that. So I now lie down by this side, she lied down by this side. That day, I was telling myself, should anything happen, this one is not devil. This one, Koro Corona, you are seeing temptation now, you are entering, and then all of that. Mm. So the fact that I even allowed her to sleep by the uh, uh, my, my mom, and I slept at the other side, I had to report myself by myself that same day in church. By myself, that same day. I, was, I mean, all this was... A, I, res I resist fornication. You don't resist fornication. You flee. The Bible says flee, flee. Men who are here, to flee. if there is any time to flee, there are times I'm walking on the road. I will close eyes where necessary and continue my journey. There are times I will raise my head up. A preacher must preach to himself. There are mm. times my front are not looking left and right and looking here and there. There's so much pollution in the land. Mm. There's so much corruption in the land. There's so much perversion mm. in the land. Also to pray Most every combination. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, everlasting Father God, I'm asking, oh God. God, I come to you, my Father God. Every contamination. In my life, oh God, in my death, in my in my home, Lord, my Father, God, in everything that I do support, every form of pollution and contamination, mighty God, let the blood of Jesus Christ be to contamination to God from the depth of my heart, from my mind, from my thought, from my spirit, from my soul. if there is any scandalous thing, one of the things is not enough to ask God for forgiveness in the secret. Your wives must be aware of the scandalous act of the behavior you have exhibited that is unchristianly and unscriptural. That's how to get healing. You know, many men and many people, so-called pastors in places and in different places, they say, oh, but I have prayed. Oh, but I have talked to God about it. No, it cannot be, it cannot be cured that way. Sin is committed vertically and horizontally. So there is an horizontal relationship. That's your wife. And that's whoever you have offended. And then there's a vertical relationship. That's to God. I just told you now I got to church and reported myself to leader, even though I did not sleep with the girl that year. I was still very young, very young. And that's many years, but I knew, I knew what it meant to be transparent. I had always understood the language of accountability. I've always understood that if you don't want to give the devil any hold, make sure your life is transparent. Who want to pray? Whatever is being locked up in the earth, there are art, there are actions. If you give it as lost that are coming into the earth, we put it to you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Amen. As lost that are coming into the earth, and then you just discover there's a loss. This is this thing. That's how to. That's how to. Do. Mm. I don't know what's happening now. My resistance virtually is going low.
I discover so, now when I see ladies, it's like, it's like I want to hold them. But I know that I'm not that see. kind of man. And uh, But I don't know what the problem is, my dear. And then you are telling your wife like that. You are telling your wife like that, that I don't know what is becoming of me. Please, can you join me in prayer? Can we, can we lay hold in the place of God? If your wife... In the name of Jesus Christ, join you in prayer. That monster will be good. That monster of more. That monster of more. Oh God, be transparently holy, transparently holy, transparently holy. God is not in love yet. 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 Place to the devil. We will give the devil. We will not 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 begin to cross it and begin to dip, begin to dash it out of our lives. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, we want to live a transparent holy life. Holiness and righteousness in our souls and bodies. Amen. 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 Our wives, some are too emotional. Emotional in the way they reply us as husband, and sometimes we want yes, you can hear me. Or sometimes we have to correct. No, you don't say it that, that way. And the men should be able to correct their wives. You shouldn't be scared to correct her. We are going to heaven. And if you know she says something she ought not to be saying, and you know this one has the ability to hinder her from taking part in the rapture. You can't say you love her without telling her. Mm -hmm. Yes, it has to be done in love, but all this mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. does not cancel the for you or you That's how to prepare was we walk ever God of heaven in our wives. Heaven we walk Let them die Let them that <laughs> Find your fine home, your fine family, where the woman is so highly religious but not godly, and then she will talk to the man roughly. She will talk to the man like she's controlling the man. She will talk no submission. She doesn't even understand the language of submission. Mm -hmm. She has been influenced terribly by social media posts, influenced by Z word, mm -hmm. influenced by Telemundo, influenced by uh, all those uh, Filipino movies, influenced by Nollywood and Bollywood and all the various who they are watching. And then terribly, and then she import all of those terrible demonic and evil things, and then bringing it to the home. And the man is saying, oh, God, how long will I, will I continue with this kind of trouble? What kind of a, a woman is it? And, she's wish, and the man is wishing within. He's wishing if this woman can just go, let me remarry. No, he thought not to be. He thought not to be. We ought not to have such a home. A home where you are wishing your husband die. A home you are wishing the man should just die at least so that you have liberty to quickly remarry. And then you are wishing the wife die so that you can quickly remarry because you are in bondage. God will kill such hope. God will deliver. Amen. God will like 
that we alone we surely we want to be careful young I'm very, very young. We have okay, so Mr. many of that pastors. I think I should be in Angola pastors. I don't know, but I, sh I I think I should be. And then, and if that's the case, it's a privilege to be addressing our pastors and leaders who are here. But I need to talk. I need to talk as led by God and as led by the Holy Spirit. I've told us I don't write things down most of the time when I'm leading prayer. And then you'll find many of the things that are disturbing home is the issue of the bedroom. Now, you find some women who diplomatically will react and then retaliate. They may tell you they are sanctified, but their action don't show they are sanctified. Mm. And then you find some men, what they do is this, because they discover that their wives are not financially buoyant, or maybe they don't believe in, a, I hope you know they are at home that the wife cannot just pick the husband ATM card. <laughs> the husband does not even know the wife ATM card password, and the wife does not know. And when you read something on social media, you will wonder, is this a marriage or is this a neighbor that they are part of? Because you find a situation where somebody will say, okay, my wife cannot just carry my ATM and all of that. My husband cannot just carry my ATM. Where is the place of oneness? Where is the place of oneness? That, okay, oh, the wife cannot know this, the husband cannot know this, the wife cannot know, and everywhere is just going, this one is locking up something, that one is locking up something, this one is hiding something, that one is hiding something. <laughs> and then you find some of the men, because they are financially empowered, and they want to be using that to manipulate their wife. That's of the devil. That's of the devil. It is in the world they do that. And then you, you want to have your way to your financial. And then when the woman sends that, oh, is that what you are doing? Okay, she too, she has to wait for you where she will manipulate back. And then you see manipulation here, manipulation here. You want to have your way, you manipulate your money. She wants to have a way, she manipulates by withdrawing and avoiding you in the bedroom. And then, before you know it, the devil enters the home. And I hope, I hope we understand. When you find in some home, we are in a whole way. I hope there's no child here because I should be free to talk. I should be free to talk to our men and women. Please, and that I've discovered that the children should not be joining and all of that. Now, you find in some home, where they say we draw one week, we draw two weeks, we draw, and then there is nothing going on between the husband and wife. Do you know what happened? The interest for whatever it is will be dying down. The man will mm. think, Oh, I control myself ah, for two weeks. I did not ask for anything. Friends, pastors, and leaders who are here, that's on LD. You are not LD. When you don't have anything, you see your wife. And then even when she undresses herself before you and all of that, and nothing is happening. You are just plastic, like what they call, uh, uh, what they call insulator. Nothing is happening. You are not healthy. Something is happening. Some, you may say, oh, hey, I'm now I'm crucified. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Nothing. Something is happening. And then before you know it, that's how you can go on for one month. That's how you can go on for two months. It is not because you are even fasting, though. 
It just because the thing is not you don't have any interest. You need to cry out quickly. It's not LD. It is not except maybe you are aged. Hey, you are aged. I understand that as we are aging is decreasing. And then before you know it, the devil gets him in. And then the same man that will not have feeling for the wife or have the feeling for the husband. We go out and be having feeling for strange women. Uh -uh. The same feeling you don't have at home. You're having for strange women. The enemy has done it. We want to pray. Whatever the enemy has done in our husband, whatever the enemy has done in our wife, the only ghost will expunge it out. Now. The only ghost will excavate it now. Hey! The God of heaven will give it out. Jesus, you are the almighty God. Help us, O Lord, to live to please you, to do your will, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Help us, O Lord, to be one in everything, O Lord. Amen. Why do I hear? I have a message for you quickly. I speak as a man on that God this morning. I speak as a man on that God this morning. Why I have a message for you? Practice this if you can practice it every day. Let there be affirmation for your man, for your husband. Let there be prayer, consistent prayer. Don't use that word. I trust my husband. He's a, he's a, he's a prophet. I trust my husband. He's a pastor. Your pastor, your husband is a man. He's a man. Your husband has flesh and blood. Your husband is not a plastic. He's relating with women in the church. It's relating with women at work. It's relating mm -hmm. with women on the streets. Don't say, I trust you. You can't talk like that. You keep firing prayer for him. You keep affirming. And then when he comes back home, this word that my wife uses for me, um, what's that name? Olo when well, she doesn't understand you, but, but at least that one. Uh, you know, there's a way, I, I think in you, but we call it, is your key, we call it, when you are uh, elogizing someone, you are elogizing, oh, no worry me. Mm. This it's not see you are trying to manipulate to collect money. Uh, because there are some, it's when they are using that thing, there's something they are they really want to collect. And that becomes like manipulation. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking of genuine affirmation. The greatest need mm. of a man is not sex. It's not. It's not. The greatest need of a man is respect. Mm -hmm. The greatest need of a man is affirmation. Oh, my dear, God will help us. I understand the economy. You are trying your best. God will increase us. My dear, the Lord will help us. It is not that you are coming to your husband. Hey, uh, hey, this kind of money. Uh, she my heart to buy. He will, will he uh, 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 Go and check. And the day you begin to compare your husband with another man, you have finished that man. 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 Whether that uh, that man is hyper spiritual, I don't care. You have been, you have you have destroyed. When the man may be destroyed inside, then you have finished, you have finished him with complex. You don't do it. You don't do it. You do it. Even if the man is doing better, don't say it. Father, come to your man. Farm him. Farm him. Farm him. God will see us too. Yeah? yeah. Don't uh, allow anything to bother you. God will help you. God will increase you. God will give you a better job. You are, when you do that, when that man goes out, oh, my father, oh, my father, no matter what any other person says to him, the father, the wife, had said something, that will be ringing. That will be corrected on the platform corrected on the platform young couple young couple platform and i have to, to let the men be an, that they just need to pay the man. it's not even money all this one i will say uh woman woman money money is associated with the well, you may you may be wrong the greatest need of a woman is security security your wife wants to understand that you are there for her your also your wife wants to 
understand that you can defend her. Your wife wants to understand that you are acting as a priest in the home. Are you really a priest? Can you stand by her? Can you defend her and the children? That's the greatest need of women. That's the greatest security. She wants to know. Wait, wait, wait. Another issue that can bring in when there are challenges in the home and it's not properly managed, it brings the devil in. Where children are not being fed properly, and then the home, there is nothing. Nobody is affecting the home and all of that. Uh, it, it, actually, uh, it actually brings a lot of friction in the home. And then before you know it, it's necessary. And I hope you know that sometimes poverty, uh, when you find people, some getting, have you found a man? He's just so happy. He's happy at work. Is happy in church. I mean, truly happy. I don't know. I don't. I don't mean somebody for me to be happy. Or I'm just trying to encourage himself. I mean, truly happy. When you find a man that is truly happy, truly happy, know that the home is in order. Most of the time, the home is in order. I'm telling you the truth. This is why the women need to make the home habitable. Make your home habitable, wives. Make your let, let your husband be longing to be at home when he goes to work. Let him be longing. All this one that men will say, they are close from war by bike. They are still roaming about the street and waiting till 8 p.m. before they come home. Many times it's because there is a trouble at home. It is because there is a trouble. If you are the type that have a home that is highly habitable, I'm telling you, you are even checking time. Five, no varish. Uh -uh, I won't go out. Five, no varish, step. I won't go out. You are long. Oh, that's a healthy home. A home where the people are missing you and they want to see you. And then a home where you yourself out there, you are missing the people at home. Then as you get home, the children, daddy, welcome home. Daddy, daddy, we miss you. I don't mean just a car showing. Do we miss you? And then your daddy, oh, yeah, we miss you. And all of us, you can be good. Don't pressure yourself with nothing. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. Even high blood, blood pressure will not even come in such a home. You will not have problem with that pressure. You will not. Eh, they will not be. And are happy. God make our home healthy. Oh God, make my 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 home healthy. The name of Jesus. You are healthy. I make my home healthy. God in heaven, we appreciate you this morning. Thank you so much for all that you have done for us. Thank you for the manifestation of your presence. Your power, Thank you, Jesus. your anointing, even the utterances that you have given your servant, oh God, in leading us yeah. in this direction, yes, under the influence and the control of your spirit, oh God. Oh. Father, we thank you. Thank you so much, thank oh you, God, Father. because you are deep mysteries that is meant for every home, meant for every family. Oh God, we are asking, oh. God of heaven, all the families that the enemy has penetrated, all the families oh, that the enemy has invaded, 
with various kind of things, and the enemy has deposited lack of submission there, has deposited insubordination there, has deposited rebellion there, has deposited disarray, confusion, sorrow, sadness, poverty, penury, and a lot of things that the enemy has done there. Father, this morning, by the authority of the name of Jesus, by the power of the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus, we completely eradicate and totally expunge all those negative things that the enemy has done in our own. We clear them out of our ways in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father God, that the power of the cross will be made manifest in our various home, O oh God. And Christ will reign supremely, dictating and directing and controlling and presiding over every family, oh God. He will preside over the life of the husband. He will preside over the over the Amen. life of the wife. Preside over the Amen. life of the children. Whether they are far and near, Amen. oh God, I'm asking that Amen. Christ will dominate and control and influence every of our actions, oh God, and even our inactions in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We hand over this week and this day into your hand, O oh God. We'll make a declaration into this day that goodness and mercy will follow us. Calamity Amen. will not follow us. Evil Amen. will not follow us. All Amen. those next that the enemy has prepared, they will not be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Declaration this day, O oh God. That Lord, the hand of God will be so mighty upon the husband, mm -hmm. upon the upon our children, upon our homes, upon every marriages, upon every family. Oh God, let your invisible hand of power begin to prevail so mightily once again in our various home. Oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that the grace of God will work mightily in our lives, Amen. in our sphere our characters, in our conduct, in our disposition, in our conversation, in our lifestyle, everything of everything, oh God, it will be a manifestation of the grace and the goodness of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh God, that this day your servant you have used, oh God, a lot of virtues have come out of him. We pray, oh God, you will replenish him, oh God, in a hundredfold in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, because we know you have answered, we are praying to love. In Jesus' okay. precious name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, I told you in the uh, afternoon that my plan was we are going to pray that God remember me. And then we thank our leader this uh, morning, how he has led us on God, remember my family. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, every family, you will not witness divorce, you will not witness separation in Jesus' name. Amen. Not only you as a parent, including your, your, uh, your children, by the power and the okay, there's something they call bone of bone, flesh of flesh. If you have gone yes. through, somebody have gone through what they call separation or divorce, it's when you will know what they call flesh of flesh, bone of bone. I pray by the power and the blood of God, Jesus Christ, no, your children Amen. will come in agreement. But every one of that time today, maybe about two on YouTube, about nine here, by the Amen. power and the blood of Jesus Christ, your children. They will not witness divorce. They will not witness. Amen. 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 The Bible says, as, uh, as for his mother, uh, our day, be old, uh, bless him. And we make him fruitful and we multiply him ascendingly. Uh, I to us, uh, every one of us, we know the story of Ismael. I told us how God remembers Esau to the extent. He told Jacob that I have enough. Uh, and I was thinking, yeah, 
opening the prayer meeting that but people may be thinking I'm materialistic. Why all this, this, every time? That individually, I want us to build our side. And the Spirit told me that, don't forget, God remember Moses. He took him to uh, to the promised land. Because after the instruction was, uh, did not carry out, as God instructed, uh, instructed Moses, we learned that at the, at the last day, devil claimed body. Thank God for his mercy to take him to destination. And I want you to use that point as a, as a content. That almighty father, in my marriage or my children, individually, including my husband, including everything I lay my hand upon in this month of November and the rest of my life, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, God remember me for good in Jesus' name. I want Amen. you to the name of the Lord and call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. This is another day to this present your husband, your husband, matter, your wife, matter, all this doesn't have been by my hair. He was born as a second in the that all what has happened. That means that nothing that matter happened. I you cannot remember me. I want you to call upon the name of the Lord upon all what you have been planning, upon all what you have been praying for, upon what you have been aiming, upon all what you have been thinking, you want to accomplish in life, on your husband, on your wife, on your children, on your work, on, on your ministry, on everything you have been doing. I mean, pure your mind, pure your mind before Almighty God today. That King of Kings, if you can remember all these things, Father, remember me for good on all of them in the name of Jesus. Father, remember me for good for all of them in the name of Jesus Christ. You are me the air and not the tail. You are me the air and not the tail. You are the air and not the tail. You are me the you are me a good dreamer and not a bad dreamer. You are the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. This is my dream. This is my aim. This is where I'm, I want to go. And this is my, my plan. I don't want to lose the kingdom of God. And I don't want to be, I don't want to be this or this act. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. That dream is not too big for God for not achieve for you. That dream is not too big for God for not achieve for your husband. That big is not too big, it's not too big for God for not achieve for your for your wife. That big is not too big for God for not achieve for you. In the world, that is that that nothing to be for Almighty God to do. Call upon the name of the Lord, that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, open heaven for me in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that can push me forward, anything that can move me forward, to be able to achieve my dream. My dear father, do not lose hope. My dear brother, do not lose hope. My dear sister, do not lose hope. My dear brother, do not lose hope. You are getting to your destination in the name of Jesus Christ. You are getting to your destination in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. If God could understand the prayer of my brother of my head. You will not miss it in Jesus' name. Your promised land, you will not lose it in the name of Jesus' name. 
or in the name of Jesus Christ, or on, on eternity. We know that them and possible of four hundred. A new road is a new place. A new chapter is being opened for you today in the name of Jesus Christ. You are, you are opening your eyes, you are opening your heart to a new destiny. That by the power of Jesus Christ, the destiny that is accomplished by the will of God, the destiny that is sanctioned by the will of God, wipe away your tear, my dear brother, wipe away your sister, my dear sister. You are going to go beyond all your dreams in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to go beyond all my dream in the name of Jesus Christ. I will not fall hand. I will not fall hand. I will not fall hand. God shall make you a giver by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. So shall he be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Pastor Romy, please pray for us. Sir. I declare us a new millennia, both to the kingdom of God. And let your new family be glorified. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father, because you are the Almighty God, you are the I am that I am. Let your new family be glorified. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Mama Peter, Mrs. Peter, and uh, right, pray for us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our Father, our God of our last kingdom of glory, we thank you, Father, Lord, for the hour that we spent in your presence. We appreciate your goodness in our lives. We thank you, Lord, for our pastor that you use ancient of this Lord of Lord. We pray that all that we have asked you to do for us in our individual's family, all while in this platform this morning, that Lord, you will answer them speedily, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We see Amen. your hand upon our families in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All that you have asked before. We believe they are born in Jesus' name. All that were invited, oh God, we shall see in our families in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray, oh Lord, that God's love will not diminish in our home in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray you keep our home and our family together, Lord, in Jesus' name. As Amen. many families that are facing problems, oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, who are the Prince of Peace, Father, come and reign and rule in such family, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. And Father, we commit our, our husband, especially, into the holy hand, oh Lord. We will keep them from falling in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We appoint them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That when they are enticed outside their oh God, they will not consent in the mighty name of Jesus. They will Amen. not give their consent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm asking God, I pray that, oh Lord, even we with the wives at home, Father, the grace will be submissive, that we not allow the devil to use us against our home. Father, grace give unto us, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Lord, we also pray for our children in the mighty name of Jesus, that there will be source of joy unto us. Us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As many owners that are having problems with children, ancient of days, we commit them to the Holy Hand. Father, we pray that you touch them. You will bring them to the knowledge of truth. Because the Bible says, as for us and our family, we will serve the Lord. Father, oh Lord, I pray, touch them, oh God, and take charge and take control of their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Ancient Amen. of days, we pray especially for our daddy, Pastor Matthew, that your mighty hand will be upon him, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. All his heart is that I will not you will grant him in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will give him joy and peace and good health in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That all that the thing has gone to shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Lord, we thank you. Because you have answered, as we all go, Lord, to our different places of work, Father, we pray that your glory, your favor, will follow us in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we cover on this platform with the blood of Jesus. We pray that no evil will befall any one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, you shall keep us in your pavilion in the name of Jesus. Bible Amen. says, because we bear in our body the mark of Jesus, let no man trouble us, I pray. Amen. There are no man no 
no demon no one shall be able to touch us and our family members in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Also have answered. We appreciate you, Lord. We give you honor and adoration. May your name forever be praised in our lives in Jesus' name. Thank Amen. you because of our time. Thank in you, Lord. Jesus' precious holy name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 So everyone, God bless you in Jesus' name. We have not greatest of ourselves in a month. Happy new month. Go and be prosper in the Happy name of Jesus. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you.